السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ مائی نیم از ابدی نیبو اقیمی فرام یو ایس اے ماشاء اللہ وی ہیو کوشچن فرام یو ایس اے مائی کوشچن از واٹ وی ہیو ٹو ڈو آن عید ڈے ٹو پرے وتھ پیپل از دیٹ اوکے ٹو پرے ایٹ ہوم وتھ دا فیملیز جزاک اللہ سملر کوشچن واز آسڈ آن دا فیس بک ایل مرج ٹوگیدر بائی فہد فرام کشمیر انڈیا کین وی آفر عید پریئر ایٹ ہوم اف یس دین واٹ آر دا کنڈیشنس واز دیر اینی ادر ایونٹ ہیلڈ ان ہسٹری ڈیو ٹو وچ عید پرے وہ پرفارمڈ ایٹ ہوم اسملر کوشچن بائی آکب ولید بھٹ کشمیر واٹ از دا رولنگ ٹو آفر عید پریئر اف لاک ڈاؤن اینڈ ریسٹرکشن کنٹینیو اسملر کوشچن بائی سامیا فرام بنگلہ دیش کین وی آفر عید صلاح ایٹ ہوم ان کانگریگیشن ڈیو ٹو کرونا وائرس ریگارڈنگ دا کوشچن واز عید صلاح ایور آفرڈ ایٹ ہوم بفور ان دا ہسٹری ایز اے ہول نو ایز اے ہول majority of the people in the world offering at home no it wasn't done but yes there were occasions when some people did and i'll discuss that the basic question is can we pray each salah at home and if we pray at home how can we pray there is there is hadith of one of the sahabas and has been malik may allah be pleased with him that in basra he missed his eat prayers so he goes home he collects his family he gets his servant his slave and he asks him to lead the salah And in that salah, he prays two rakat, each salah, everything normal with the takbirat, but does not read the khutbah. So based on this, all the fuqahs unanimously agree that if anyone misses the each salah, he can very well play, pray with his family at home or can pray alone also. All other things that have to be followed same except the khutbah, since khutbah is not fard. The khutbah of the juma salah is fard. But the khutbah of the Eid Salah is not a fard. So, at that time, based on this hadith, if you miss, you can come home, you can pray, have the takbirat, and then, but the khutbah after Eid Salah is not required. So, yes, it has happened in the past for people who have missed. But as a whole, because most of the mosques in the world are locked down, I don't know of any incidents in the world before that most of the Eid Salah will not take place in the mosque. It's the first time. Regarding the question that can we pray Eid Salah because of the pandemic of coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, and if we do, what should we do? So as far as this ruling is concerned, it is unanimous, there is no difference of opinion. Now, it is not the question of missing, we cannot pray because the mosques are locked down. Maybe in some countries like in Malaysia, they have agreed that mosques will be open, but maximum 30 people in a mosque. with taking care of, of, of physical distancing, all that is there. But 30 people, that will not take care even of 1% of the population of Malaysia who would like to pray. So, but naturally most of us cannot pray in the mosque. So can we pray at home? Yes, you can pray at home. But when you pray at home, you have to pray same as it is normally prayed. One of the family members, a gent, can, can lead the salah. And the only additional factor is that the additional takbirat. After the takbir al ihram, the first takbir, in the first rakat, there are additional six takbir, so total seven. And then you read the surah Fatiha, then you go for rukud as normal, then go for sujood. After doing the second sujood, you get up and you say Allahu Akbar. And when you come, you read additional five takbir. The one Allahu Akbar plus five, so it becomes six. So it is seven in the first rakat, six in the second rakat, or five addition in the first rakat, and uh, uh, six addition, sorry, in the first rakat, and five addition in the second rakat. These, this is the only difference as compared to normal two rakat. And normally after the, after the salai salah, there is no kudba required if you are praying at home. But just a few days back, I called Uh, Sheikh uh, Muhammad Hassan Addadu, who are going to be one of the most knowledgeable living Islamic scholar in the world, and I said that because of this pandemic situation, you know, the COVID-19, most of the mosques are closed. Can we pray at home? He said, yes, we can pray at home. He said, can if we have the Imam, can we even have, can we read the khutbah? And he said, yes, mumkin. Though it's not a fard, if you want, and you have an Imam who can give a khutbah, you can even give a khutbah. This is a fatwa. given by Sheikh Muhammad Hassan Addadu. Normally, Qudubah is not required at home, 
But if you have someone who can give the khutbah, he said it's possible if you want the blessing to hear the khutbah, you can do that. If people want to hear the khutbah of the mosque which has a loudspeaker after the salah, you can do that. But this option is also open according to Sheikh Muhammad Hassan al -Dadu. Let me remind you one thing. If you are paying at home, do not neglect all the other sunnah, please. That doesn't mean if you're praying at home, you only pray at home. Do all the other sunnah. It is sunnah for the Muslims that the moment Ramadan ends, after the Maghrib Salah, the first of Shawwal, you start the Takbirat. That we read immediately after the Maghrib Salah till you pray the Eid Salah. So continue with that. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, illa ilhamd. And the addition, this is the short one. Takbirat, continue. That doesn't mean if you're praying at home, you continue the moment after Maghrib Salah. Keep on saying the Takbirat as much as possible till you start the Salah. Number two, when you get up in the morning, you have ghusl. It is sunnah to have ghusl. Have a breakfast. The Prophet had breakfast to indicate that this is not a fasting day and you're not fasting. Before you go first, before the Prophet went for he used to have dates. He used to have odd number of dates. So you can have dates, whether three, whether five, odd number of dates before you read the salah. See to it you wear good clothes. The best clothes that you have. Doesn't have to be new. If it's new, no problem. But whatever best clothes you have, you wear. The gents, if they can perfume themselves. So follow all the other sunnah. So that and then go for not that if you're praying at home, all the sunnahs are completely neglected. So this was in brief that how you can conduct the Eid Salah at your home if you cannot go to the mosque.